Florida, also known as the Sunshine State. Well known for its tropical climate, diverse wildlife, and plentiful beaches. However, it's far from uniform. Down in Miami, it feels more like New York transposed to the Caribbean. Then you have the Panhandle with cities like Tallahassee that has more of a southern feel. Orlando, a little more touristy, and the Florida Keys is unique all on its own. So what are the pros and cons of living in Florida? Well, that's what I'm talking about today and I'm starting right now. Welcome back everyone, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Veronica Evers, local full-time real estate agent located right here in Central Florida. And I've been living here and selling home for many years, and I've learned quite a bit about the pros and cons of Florida. Now here are some things that I feel Florida has going for it, and maybe it's enough to get you to want to move here. No state income tax, now that's a major perk. Housing costs are lower than many parts of the country and it's very affordable living, especially here in Central Florida area. Another perk of living in Florida is you can enjoy some of the best, most beautiful beaches even if you live inland in Florida. You can make a day trip to one of our gorgeous beaches and be back all in the same day, never too far from any of our beaches. Florida residents receive local discounts to some of our major attractions and theme parks, such as Universal and Disney Busch Gardens. If you're a Florida resident, you'll get considerable discounts for just living here. If you're looking to retire in Florida, well, you've come to the right place. We have numerous communities dedicated specifically for retirees and even some for just our snowbirds. If you like boating or yachting, Florida is another great choice for that. So we have plenty of outdoor activities, such as boating, yachting, surfing, swimming, parasailing, the list goes on. If you like going on cruises, we have plenty of ports that leave right out of Florida from Tampa, Fort Lauderdale, Port Canaveral, Miami. You can hop on a weekend cruise, go to Mexico or the Bahamas for just a few hundred dollars. Another great perk living here in Florida if you like to take cruises. Now if you like other sports like golfing and tennis, you'll love living in Florida also because you can do this year round. With our beautiful weather, you can play and continue playing your favorite sports year round. You don't have to stop. If you like fresh fruits, you can grow your own orange and grapefruit trees in your own backyard. Which brings me to healthy options are available as well as our farmer's market are year round too. They don't shut down. You can go weekly and go pick up your fresh fruits and vegetables from your local farmer's market every week. And we normally have, at least here in Central Florida, I'm sure throughout the state, weekly farmer's market at different times. Maybe one city might have it on Thursday, then you take a short drive across to, to another city, which is, has a huge farmer's market on Saturday. There's always something waiting to do for you here in Florida, so come on down. So we do have a few cons, and I'd like to go over those as well. As many of you may have heard, we do get a little warm in our summer months. Yep, it can get a little hot, but that's why we have AC and it does pass. Or go to the beach for the day, swim in your own pool, swim in your neighbor's pool. There's plenty of ways to still enjoy being outside so you don't have to be cooped up in your home week or month after month. You can still enjoy the outside or sit inside your AC. Dealing with the heat, we find ways to get, get around that and then when the winter does come, it's so worth it. Another con is we do have hurricane season, but the good news with that is you get plenty of notice to either go ahead, have your generator ready to fire up and get ready to hunker down or take off and go on a little mini vacation. Well, until the hurricane passes, I've lived here since 1993. I've never had substantial damage to any of my homes. I've come back and my homes have been perfectly fine. I've only had to evacuate maybe a handful of times because normally most of the hurricanes, as they get closer and closer, you find out they're not gonna hit us or they take a little turn and we all can um, breathe another sigh of relief until the next hurricane warning. But like I said, since 1993, I've probably had to evacuate less than five times. 
Okay, another con is the state's extremely flat and very green. If you're looking for a change of scenery in the fall, you're most likely not gonna get it. However, if you wanna look at something beautiful, remember, you can go to the beach, the ocean, either the Gulf or the Atlantic Ocean, anytime you like, and that, I feel, tops any, any type of view, and it definitely makes up for the flatness and the green all over Florida. Now, we do get a lot of tourists here in Florida, but I'm fine with that. I know some people may be bothered a little bit by the heavier traffics during tourist season, but I really don't find it a problem. They mainly stay on the tourist areas or the main roads. You just learn the back roads and hey, you know what? Sometimes you end up making some great friends that come on down every year and visit. And another con is, yeah, Florida, we got some bugs, some pretty big, <laughs> ugly bugs, like the palmetto bugs. I'm sure you probably heard of those. They look like cockroaches and they fly. <laughs> And we do have some snakes and alligators and some other wildlife. Yes, I've seen snakes, but I've never been attacked by one. I also won't garden or anything because I'm so afraid of finding a snake. All my neighbors garden. I guess they don't have the same fear I do. And an alligator, I've seen maybe just a tiny handful from a distance in a pond. I live here in Pelican Bay. I wouldn't recommend jumping in any of these ponds at night and go swimming. You may just see one. But for the most part, you're not getting chased down the street. They're not bothering you. You just use your common sense and alligators are fine here too. Hopefully this pros and cons list helped you decide if you want to move here. And if you have any questions, something I didn't cover, go ahead and comment below or reach out to me. I'm happy to help. Give me a call, send me your text or shoot me an email. Till next time.